Well, that was an interesting night of racing. The sun is right in my eyes in order for me to have the car in the background. So we went to Outlaw, uh, 1,220 to win. Uh, we didn't win. <laughs> I probably shouldn't tell you that before the video, but we didn't, we didn't win. Um, uh, heat race, we started like seventh, I think, something like that, fifth or seventh or something, I don't know. No, it was like fifth. <clears throat> and then on the start, we got shuffled back a little bit trying to get around some slower cars and I mean like all the way back almost to the back last we might even have been last for a second um made our way back up to finish third uh for the heat race which uh there was a <laughs> top four redraw three heats um you've heard me talk about it before I suck at redraw I'm absolutely terrible at it I usually have if there's a little kid walking by I usually have that little kid pull for me because that's the only way I get a good pin um I pulled 13 if you do that math, there should have only been 12 pills. I pulled higher than 12. So I asked, I was like, what is up with this? And apparently there was a provisional spot from a race early in the season. So somebody who didn't finish well uh, got a provisional. And I'm pretty sure the person who got it actually wound up passing me with two to go in the feature. I passed him early, but we, I, I think I smoked the right front, uh, got it too hot. Um, trying to pass the leader. We went from 13th all the way up to second. We were all over the leader. We had a pretty good run on them a couple of times and the caution came out. And uh, yeah, so it sucks. It is uh, it is what it is. So uh, the car's in one piece. Um, unfortunately, we uh, made contact with a friend of mine. Um, Corey, I'm sorry again. I know I apologized last night, but uh, yeah, not on purpose. I had a run on the outside and uh, it went bad real quickly. Um, I haven't even checked the GoPro footage. Hopefully it's, the pro footage is good. Um, it was pretty dusty, but yeah, Corey's shit got tore up and that sucks. I hate to see that happen. Um, we just, the, the hole I was in got too small and unfortunately Corey got turned into the wall going down the front stretch and then he got absolutely pile drove by a woodchuck in the back that didn't get off the gas for the caution. Um, that sucks. I've had it happen to me. Um, it's not uncommon people in the back not paying attention um, So yeah, that's that stinks um, We were up to second with like two to go. I got passed by uh, a, a Cobalt actually and then uh, a Mustang snuck by me on the bottom side. I think on the last lap I Got paid for third so I don't I don't know I'm not questioning it so She's in one piece. I think that's going to be it for this season. I don't think we're going anywhere else. There's a big race Thursday, but that would mean I'd have to take Friday off work. Maybe I'll get a bug up my butt and decide to go do that, but I doubt it. I think I'm done. I'm tired. The car's... The car's in one piece. I don't know. Maybe we will, but I don't know. Enjoy the footage.
video at the beginning there, the intro, was obviously taped Saturday morning, the night after the race. It's pretty obvious by the way I'm talking. Um, <clears throat> and that would have been it. We would have watched the race and it would have been over with. Unfortunately, um, little to not, did I know at the time of that, that there was a whole slew of shit talking going on on the internet. So now I feel like I have to address it. Uh, and that sucks. It's unfortunate that it has to be that way. Um, the car that got turned, the guy that I apologized to at the beginning of the video, um, we talked after the race. His wife went down to my pit. She was upset, understandable. I talked to her a couple minutes later. Corey walked down. I talked to Corey. I thought it was taken care of. I thought, you know, I apologized, explained the situation, what happened. Um, I thought we were good. Apparently we were not. Um, I didn't know. So uh, he basically went on the internet and went on to every single front wheel drive page he could find. If you follow front wheel drive racing, if you're a driver, if you're a fan, you might be on those pages. You probably saw it. His name is Corey Belade. Um, crying victim on every single page he could get his hands on. Uh, I didn't know because he didn't tag me. So I had no idea. Um, until Sunday, middle of the day, um, his dad starts messaging me being the tough guy, basically demanding my GoPro footage to clear my name. Uh, I'm stuck at a four-year-old's birthday party while this is going on. So I was like, what the, what, what is happening right now? So I went to Facebook, I pulled up Facebook, uh, found the posts, realized that there was a bunch of them, uh, read the comments of people shit talking, um, him shit talking, him threatening to wreck my shit, uh, saying he came to my pit and I was a scared little bitch. Um, yeah, that's that didn't happen. He came to my pet just as quiet as a mouse, kind of looked like somebody popped his balloons and he needed a hug. Um, his wife was upset, which is totally understandable. You know, the car got wrecked. She pays for everything. I get it. I get why she's mad. Uh, she said, I thought we were cool. Um, we are cool. It was a racing incident. It happens. Okay. I'm sorry it happened, but it happened. To go on the internet and act like children is a completely different story. Uh, it's bad for the sport. It's just not necessary at all. So, here we are. Night's over with, the race is over with, his car got wrecked, I apologize for the track that night. I apologize again at the beginning of this video, but here we are. Basically, get a GoPro for your car, okay? Because as you can see in the video, it was 100% a racing deal. He's made the same move I've made a bunch of times. I'm sure his teammates have made the same move. Not, it, it happens. It's, that's racing, it's part of the sport. If you can't handle it, stay home. On the same note, at the end of the race, you see me get passed by a black and green car, um, a Cobalt. Uh, he decided to join in and talk shit as well. I never made contact with that guy, and he even passed me with the exact same move I was making when it happened. So, not sure what his problem is. I don't even know the guy, and I made sure to go over and shake his hand after the race and say good race. So, uh, some true colors were shown on the internet, and now I know that uh, in the future, not to defend those guys like I have in the past at tracks when they've gotten in altercations with people and I've uh, backed them up and stood up for them. Um, but now I know. I made a mistake. I shouldn't. Obviously, I should not have been friends with them. Um, and now I know. That's part of the game. You find out uh, who you can trust, I guess, and who you should be friends with and who you shouldn't be friends with. Um, don't do that. Plain and simple. If you're racing, you're out there. I get it, in the heat of the moment, things happen, we get excited, we get upset, we get mad, it happens. If you can talk about it at the racetrack, talk about it at the racetrack. And hopefully take care of it there, where it should be taken care of. Uh, the internet can be a wonderful place. You can go on there, you can find information, you can help people like I try to do with these videos. But they're also that dark side where people act like idiots. Um, it's unfortunate. It sucks. Uh, don't do that. It's bad for the track. It's bad for the sport. It's bad for the class. Um, it's an unfortunate situation. It is what it is. Can't go back now. I apologized. I did my part. Uh, I'm not going to talk shit on the internet. Plain and simple. Um, get a GoPro. Put it on your car. So when shit like this happens, you can go, here. Here's the footage of what happened. Uh, you probably shouldn't listen to your grandstand cheerleaders 
telling you that it was intentional because they don't know. They're sitting in the grandstands. They're holding a camera in the grandstands. Uh, it's not the same. They are not on the racetrack. They are not race car drivers. They're cheerleaders, period. I've had to tell people that are my friends and my crew not to engage and not to talk shit. That's your job. If you're a race car driver and your crew's running their mouth, it is your job to control that situation. Because they can make you bad just as make you look bad just as quick as you can make yourself look bad. Um, after I posted the footage on my page of what happened, so that it was obvious to everybody, they doubled down. They claimed they weren't talking shit. Went back and deleted the posts, comments that they were talking shit on. Um, one guy did apologize. Kyle, I appreciate it. That's stand up, man. You apologized and deleted your comments. I I respect that. Um, but. If you want to double down, act like I did it intentionally, that's on you. It's childish. But we'll move on. We'll keep racing. Um, 